Ah. It's just one of those games. Leafs lose 4-1s. Four 4-1s. Ones. Four ones. Oh my god, I'm tired. 4-1 to the Boston Bruins. And it was actually a fun game to watch. It was a good game. It was a good game. Um, Toronto just had some more defensive errors. They left Boston open in the slot way too many times. Like Joseph Wall, I don't think, had a bad game at all. Boston just capitalized on their chances. If it's Pavel Zaka getting that second goal, geeky scoring. If it was Zaka again for the fourth when Leafs had momentum. Debrus got one coming in late. It was just those. It was just like missed defensive coverages. Or like Lilligren, I guess it is a missed defensive coverage with that fourth goal where he's kind of like not puck watching. Kind of wish he would have been puck watching, but he wasn't puck watching. Then the puck hit his skate and then Zaka just like barely got it off the ice and over walls padding in to make it 4-1. That killed the Leafs' momentum after John Tavares scored to make it 3-1. And they had a chance and then they didn't. They didn't. Pashnak ate him apart tonight. When I say ate him apart, like... Just like if you look on the, the score sheet, like he got his assists and stuff and he looked really good on that, like one power play. And then he was like, nowhere to be seen <laughs> until the Leafs gain momentum. And then he's like, I guess I'm going to play again. And he does. And some of Brad Marchand, it's like, you know, good spurts. And then you don't see him at all. Which I guess was majority of the Bruins. And then, because they had the lead. And then next, you know, they're like, we're, oh, there's the Leafs have momentum. We're going to get that back. And they did. It was like they just like conserved their energy, and then and then boom, took it to the Leafs. Uh, but Toronto generated chances. They did. They got opportunities. But unlike Boston, who found their man open in the slot, the Leafs couldn't find their man. And if they did, Boston closed on them. They boxed them out. They 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 didn't allow that second or third chance. And neither did the officials. A few times, a few early whistles there. A referee, I know Tyler Bertuzzi was pissed a couple of times, but were the Leafs going to win this game? No, Boston's a better team, man. Do you know what? Boston Boston deserved this win, and they deserve to be eight points up on the Leafs with... No, the Leafs have two games in hand still. It's the battle. It's the battle. I don't think anyone wants to meet Florida, I'll tell you that. I think Florida's going to be top in the, in, in the division, and it's going to be... It's looking like Boston-Toronto... We'll see him again in a little bit. Boston plays Edmonton tomorrow. Toronto, I think, plays Buffalo. And then they play Boston again on the, the second night of a back-to-back, -back, which sucks. <laughs> oh, God. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, overall, Mitch Marner's line, Mike Matthews and Nyes, they had spurts there, but really couldn't get much going. The power play was dreadful. God, Boston Bruins just attacked, 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 attacked. The least power play, even like just trying to get the puck into the zone. They struggled. They had like one or two, you know, extended zone time once they got set up eventually in the game. But the initial, what, one or two was atrocious. Um, Tavares line, I thought they were okay. You know, Johnny got his, his goal. Um, they just, sometimes they held the puck a little bit too long and just couldn't get a, like a clean shot off. Uh, Domi's line, um, eh. Could generate something and then they got hemmed in their own zone. The fourth line at one point was Toronto's best line offensively. Of course, they got hemmed into their zone for like three minutes, it felt like. It actually, it felt like 20 minutes out with that one shift. I don't even think it was the full line. I think Domi's out there with Reeves and a few others at the tail end of the third period, but they had some good extended shifts in there and they had some chances. Um, which is crazy when the fourth line is is your more, most dangerous at times. That's That's not good. Uh, defensively, uh, you know, some breakdowns there. Um, I thought Benoit had a solid game, in my opinion. Um, he uh, uses size, uses speed, uses stick well. Boston, man, when they protect the puck, they do it well. They do it well. And then if they lose it, someone's there and someone's on it. And you saw it over and over again. And they just had that extra half step, full step, three steps on the Leafs. And that's why they won this game. It, was, it, was, it wasn't like they tried harder, but they were just more efficient in everything. And they were in the right spot, and Toronto was not. 
and I'm not saying it was a bad game. Like, I'm not pissed off. Like, I'm not screaming like Toronto lost this game. They lost to the better team, but it wasn't a terrible game. It was a fun game to watch. They they generated chances. They just couldn't finish. And Jeremy Swimman did well. The Post did well a few times. And it is what it is. Like, uh, what was it? After JT scored, Matt Nice at the Post, like, right after. Sure, it hit off, like, Grizzly stick. But... It could have been a game changer, and it wasn't because it didn't go in. And then, of course, Pashnak did Pashnak things, and Zach has scored, and yeah, it sucks. No, I'm just rambling. So overall, like I said here, quick summary, Boston Bruins capitalized on their chances when Toronto didn't. Um, had that extra step on the Leafs throughout the night. They made sure if the puck got loose, they were there. They boxed out really well, especially on their cycle. Um and when Toronto got their chances, they had a body or a stick on the Leafs, and the Leafs just, just couldn't get clean shots off. And when they did, so they made the save, or the post made the save. That's it. Leafs lose. Buffalo next. First game against Buffalo since they lost 9-3. Let's get them this time. Let's get them this time. Anyway, take care, everyone. Have a wonderful week. Back-to-backs, Buffalo, then Boston, and then... Montreal on Sunday, or Saturday, Jesus, not Sunday. I'll probably make this video on Sunday after the Montreal game, after Toronto beats Montreal. But let's beat Buffalo, Boston first. All right, take care, everyone. Have a great week. Go Leafs, go.